Today we're with Ms. Celine Ryan, the lecturer at the NUI Galway Shannon College of Hotel Management. And Celine is in the province of Munster, Ireland, and uh, a very famous province there. Hello, Celine. Good afternoon. Hi, Mike. It's afternoon here. I think it's morning with you. So good morning. Yes. Well, it's a pleasure to see you again. I know we've been talking in the past. And first of all, I want to thank you very much for selecting our company to participate in your MSc graduate program, uh, working with students there doing a, a project, a consulting project for us. So we're having a great time with that and they're doing wonderful work for us. So thank you very they're much. They're enjoying for that. it too, Mike. Thank you so much for your time and your dedication to helping students with their studies. Well, now let's talk a little bit about uh, some of your recommendations for some of the hidden gems in Limerick, uh, where you are, and for for American tourists who might like to come over there and visit your your fine county. And I I may test you earlier on what the uh, the treaty county means, but hold that for a moment. And uh, I believe Limerick is the uh, treaty county, but uh, we'll come back to that. How how what what hidden gems would you like to tell people about in Limerick? Well, I'm, I'm very biased, of course, Mike, because I'm from Limerick and I love Limerick. I'm of Limerick. Everything about the city, its history, its streets, the different people that you meet. I'm very proud of where I'm from. So the, the main thing I would say to people is just get here if you can. Walk in the streets and see what the vibe is like. It's, it's a very eclectic city. And while it would have started many, many years ago with the Viking influences, Norman influences and so on, the modern... Um, the modern iteration of our city, it's just, it's a melting pot. There's so many industries, businesses, art projects, educational institutes. It's just such a wonderful place to be and so many cultures. But even within our city, you know, the city and county, um, the, the difference is even for people who are native to Limerick, from Limerick originally, uh, the accents that we have are so musical here. So it's, it's a fantastic place to visit overall. But if I had to pick a few things for people to do if they were coming from abroad, it depends, of course, on your level of activity and what you want to do. There's some of the, you know, the generic things you can do around shopping and so on. We have amazing boutiques in smaller towns outside of, of Limerick City. You know, Limerick City itself is known for fashion, but we have uh, amazing boutique towns nearby. The likes of Ennis and Clare, which is just out the road, our neighbours. Um, but also, you know, uh, Newcastle West and other areas, even a dare in Limerick itself. So if people wanted to see some of the more unusual fashion and different choices that we have with native fashions and also things further afield, I would recommend that. Limerick is known for its style and its fashion. And uh, next, I would say for those who like walking, um, there are many trails around Limerick that you can take, you know, beautiful scenic views that you can take in. But just in the city itself, something that I like doing is the walk of the three bridges. I don't know if you ever got a chance to do that while you were here, Mike. Uh, no, I haven't, but uh, thanks for that tip. Yeah, it's just the city is built on a river, as many, many cities are. And of course, I know there's lots of troubles and problems with being built so close to water. But Limerick and the river are heart in heart, a hand in heart. You know, they go together and um, you can see when you stand on one bridge, you can see the others and each bridge was built at different periods. So some are more modern than others. Uh, but I would typically start at King John's Castle, which I'm sure you've seen or you've been around. I think you had a video done on that before to show people some of the reenactment and the style that's there. But you can start on that on that bridge and you can work your way in along across Sarsfield Bridge, which has um, a fantastic statue around our Civil War and War of Independence. So there's some more history there, more modern history. And then we've Shannon Bridge. And just at Shannon Bridge, there's some very modern buildings, uh, skyscrapers for us, I suppose. You know, if you're looking at 13, 14 stories, that's quite high for Limerick. And beautiful vistas of, of Limerick itself from these different viewing points. And the bridges are all quite close together, but it gives you a nice um, snake to walk through the city, oh, to nice. walk and down, go down along Clancy Strand and to see different things. And when you're taking that walk and it's very relaxed, there's, you know, eateries, there's beautiful houses that you can look at. It's really interesting. But there's one little spot that you might like to visit, uh, Mike, called Poor Man's Kilkee. Have you ever heard of Kilkee in County Clare? Oh, I have. Yes, we've, we've been there a couple of times. A beautiful 
small town on the Atlantic Ocean there, I believe. Absolutely, yes, you have it. And, and we have what's called Poor Man's Kilkee, and they have some signage up to help people understand the history of it. There's a, a very interesting statue of Terry Wogan there. He was a, a man from Limerick, very proud Limerick man, who had a most beautiful voice, and he ended up working for the BBC in broadcasting in uh, the UK and was very, very well known and well loved by Irish people and people in, in Britain as well. But uh, there's there's a famous statue of him there and it's famous because it doesn't look like him at all. Oh, <laughs> so I it's see. a bit of fun to go and sit and look at it. People go to look at it and see how bad it is. Oh. And when they look at a picture of him on their phone, they say, that's not him. But you can sit on his lap and take a picture with Terry Wogan. And in this spot, which is called Poor Man's Kilkee, um, people often went there, the, the story went or the story w would go that if people didn't have money to travel to County Clare for their holidays, if they didn't have the bus fare and so on, that they came to this point in Limerick City, which was very pleasant and very nice to go to. They'd bring their kids there to see the water, to feed the ducks and so on and see the swans. Yeah. But it got the nickname then as Poor Man's Kilkee because see. you had the money to go to the real Kilkee. Yeah. Well, the uh, Three Bridges Walk sounds really interesting. It sounds like it's a you get a lot of steps on your Fitbit watch or your Apple You'll get watch. You get the steps in, watch. yeah. But it's 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 quite a nice, like, I mean, of course, you can challenge yourself and there's parts of the city where there are slight inclines and so on if people do like walking. But that is actually quite a leisurely walk to do and the history around is quite nice. Right. So and that's something that I would recommend that okay. I like. So we've got fashion and we've got a bit of walking. What else can I recommend to you? Well, Limerick is known for its music. I think um, it would be remiss of me not to mention the, the, the offerings that are here with hospitality and music and culture in Limerick. There's a very well-known venue called Dolan's Warehouse. Dolan's Warehouse and the Dock Road in Limerick. And um, it's something I've been missing a lot with the uh, pandemic and things being closed when it wasn't safe to open. Mm -hmm. They do amazing gigs there in a very, um, very well-known venue. venue the, 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 the style, what they do, spotting young talent, but also just um, embracing traditional music and they have sessions in their bar. It's fantastic what they can do. So Dolan's, I would say, would be um, on the to-do list for anyone who's interested in music comedy, different types of culture. It's really interesting. It sounds and at like the other end of town, then you have the Lock Bar, which also has amazing music and dancing as well. There's lots of, actually, to be fair, lots of businesses in Limerick will, will really foster live music and often have no cover charge. Just go in and enjoy your evening, just relax and enjoy the music. So that will be all there for people when they do decide to come back to, to see us again. Oh, nice. You can really have a nice evening with food or drinks or whatever you're comfortable with and What's... enjoy that culture. It sounds like those pubs are a great place to meet the locals and have that authentic, genuine experience where you meet the locals, not not a touristy experience, but more a, a local experience. So that I think that's what American tourists mm -hmm. really appreciate when they come over there is to experience the local culture and the history and, and meet the people and enjoy those kind of interactions with them. But I, I have to say- and I'll tell you just a joke about meeting Irish people in the pub in Limerick before you move on. Okay. If, if someone from Limerick tells you they're gonna meet you in Flannery's, just be careful because there's about five Flannery's bars in Limerick. I'll remember <laughs> so before, that. Yeah, my, parent, my parents have a kind of a guest accommodation business and one guy that had been working, he was, it was his last night in Limerick, he was working in Troy Studios, which is involved with making movies and a lot of uh, it's in Castle Troy and Limerick. Um, so they've been engaging with stuff for Sky and so on. Fantastic development and innovation for Limerick. But I said I dropped him into town when I was going and he said, I'm meeting my friends in Flannery's. So he was meeting some of the crew from Limerick and I couldn't stop laughing. And I said, did they say which one? So I knew they were having him on, that he'd have to walk the city to find which pub they were in. Oh, and he said, there's five with the exact same name. I said, yeah, it's part of a joke. So uh -huh. be careful if you say Flannery's, we which will. one? Because there's big flanneries, there's small flanneries, they've all these little nicknames. So we that's will. a bit of the fun, but that's all part of the fun of walking around Limerick and meeting people. I well, I remember that. Um, well, what what do you like to do on weekends, Celine yourself? What what what's a weekend for you for leisure and enjoyment? I'm laughing because you'll see behind me an unfinished wall here. I'm after buying a house and I'm renovating, so oh. I haven't been doing much, right? To be fair, except going to the local. Um, hardware shops and the, the, the great retail outlets that we have buying stuff here. 
But usually what I would love doing is a walk into the city because it is it is so lovely. I, I just naturally love the city myself, but there are lovely things in the in the area, the hinterland around. Sometimes I would take my mother's dog for a big walk in UL campus. So the University of Limerick is in County Limerick. I worked there previously and it's obviously something that's very close to my heart. I went to college there myself. And it is an amenity that's open to the public. So you're welcome to walk the grounds there, about 200 acres. Mm. I don't walk 200 acres now. There's a little path that I follow. Mm. But um, that can be a really nice thing to do at the weekend. And there's plenty of space, even if people are being careful and cautious with social distancing and so on. There's plenty of room for everyone, lots of parking. Uh, it's a very safe environment. It's just really enjoyable to go down there. And it's a river walk again. Part of it they have, you can walk through the lovely campus buildings and see that architecture and the, the amazing structures and landscaping that they've done. But a lot of it is quite wild because the University of Limerick is actually over the three counties. So if you want to visit Tipperary, Limerick and Clare in one go, you can go to UL campus and the three counties border on that wow. campus. So you can walk there and go through, go along by the, the river and uh, see the three counties in one go, if you like. So I do like to do that at the weekends if I can. I'm, I'm not always great. I will now with the weather being so nice. When the weather is bad, it's hard to keep putting up the hood and go for the walk. But it, that's a really nice thing to do. So much of what we can do in Limerick is FOC free of charge. And that's one I'd recommend for people oh, to relax, to really get a sense of Limerick and the, the nature and the animals and the birds that you can see is fantastic. But again, people are very friendly when you walk around there. A lot of local residents they'd recognize a different face and they'd say, hello, where are you from? If, if they were wondering where you were walking oh, from. Yeah. So that can be nice. Um, and in, in the evenings and the nighttime that, you know, there's a great culture in Limerick, even though we are limited in what we're doing at the moment with pubs and dining and so on, it is opening up and by next Monday, hopefully indoor dining will resume. But Limerick is just a great spot to go and listen to music. That's my interest. I'm involved in a gospel choir in Limerick. Oh, and I love going to music and events and gigs with my friends from that. We haven't been able to do it. We haven't been able to gather to sing ourselves. You know, we did some online Zoom stuff, but it's not the same. So um, music would be a big part of what I, what I can do in Limerick or what I'm interested in. And whether it's a paid gig or some of the free gigs that are available in the pubs, that would usually be my weekend. That's what I'd be looking forward to. So it's all starting to come back on track for us now. Uh, let's do this again. I'd love to talk to you. I can tell you about Pig Town, which is another name for Limerick. We might go back to why it's called the Treaty City. And there's all these things. You would have to come to Ireland or five times to understand all of Limerick. So I'll have to get you keep touring here all the time. We will. We will, Celine. And I appreciate you taking the time out of your day. To no meet problem. It was today. lovely to see you. And let's uh, say hello to all our friends over there. And uh, perhaps we can get together again next month sometime. Great, we'd love to see you. Okay, Celine. All Slon. the best. Slon. Slon. Slon.